Hey you all, what is up? My name is Joy Aaliyah and I hope that you all are having a lovely day. First things first, happy Motivational Monday with Joy. Can't forget the joy. Today we are going to be talking about being in competition with yourself. Let's go. All right, y'all, so for today's Motivational Monday, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me with y'all. Um, yes, I'm actually going to be doing a voiceover. Um, I'm getting ready. I don't want to start rambling while I'm getting ready, so I'm just going to talk over my makeup. I forgot I kind of flew in my eyebrow right here. I almost wiped it off. That would have been embarrassing. As we go into this new week, I just want us to work on staying focused. Work on staying focused on our purpose. Staying focused on our goals. And doing things that make us genuinely happy. Now, with that being said, Let's go ahead and jump in today's video. Recently, I was feeling as if I was carrying weight on my shoulders with everything I have on my plate right now. During this time, I remembered a quote from Eric Thomas. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you will be successful. When I remembered this quote, it resonated with me. I even went on to reflect on what this quote truly meant to me personally. I started to send this quote to family members, friends, wrote it in my study notebook, my planner, even in my notes on my phone. Basically, I was putting this quote everywhere in an attempt to absorb all the words of this quote. And doing so made me realize that when you want success so bad, you'll begin to see your life transform into a journey of self-discovery. Now notice how I said self. Success is a journey of the self and should not be compared to that of another. When you're seeking success, you'll be so worried about what you need to do and what you need to stop doing to become successful that you may begin to stop worrying about what others are doing. Before you know it, you're in competition with yourself. You're now competing with the person you used to be. Notice how I said the person you used to be. That's the person you need to aim to compete against. Now, this is where today's message comes in. Now we constantly hear, compete against yourself. Don't compete against other people, but there's something they don't tell you. The problem with being in competition with yourself is that sometimes the person that you used to be is very stubborn. And that person does not want to go away. And for that reason, you have to compete against that person you once were. This person is stagnant and you now have to teach this person. You now have to train your mind and your body to get rid of old habits and work towards new habits. You have to drill it in your mind. The person you're aiming to be and work towards that person. The only person you should be comparing yourself to is that person you used to be. You're not going to find self-improvement by comparing who you are to someone else. You have to drill it in your mind that you want to be better than the person you used to be and now aim to be the ideal version of yourself. You're not going to discover the ideal version of yourself by competing against others. Competing against others can be taxing for one. And when you start to see that your results are not identical to the person you're comparing yourself to, that may leave room for feelings of self-doubt. And we don't want feelings of self-doubt on this journey, not on our journey. We want feelings of abundance and 
growth. And for that reason, the only person you should be comparing yourself to is that person that you used to be. You're not going to find self-improvement by comparing who you are to someone else's journey. While I do know that in the process, it's easy to keep tabs on what others are doing and validate your success by comparing it to the speed of another, but I challenge you all today to compare yourself to the person that you used to be. Stop turning to others to compete against. Compete against yourself and watch you evolve into the person that you were aiming to be. What excuse do you have not to be in competition with yourself? Oh, I don't know how to be that person I'm striving to be. Well, then study your craft. Practice your craft. Become the best at what you love to do and own it. And lastly, work towards the best version of yourself while competing against the current best version of yourself. Now that's the real challenge. Hey y'all, I'm back. I hope you all enjoyed that video. This get ready with me slash motivational Monday and I can't wait to see y'all next time I've been having a really fun time making these motivational Mondays and I hope that I've been inspiring you all to just keep going keep staying the course and keep being great because you are great okay bye y'all y'all have a wonderful day okay